Williams Grove and the limited late models. Not very many people showed up for this race. We just got ourselves a single split, 12 cars out here. Of course, we got Keith Hackney being the fastest guy, getting a 21.0 in practice. I'm up there in second with a 21.2. Hopefully, I can at least qualify second, being the number two car, but we'll have to wait and see here. Hope to God to not qualify outside the top two. I feel like I'd probably have to really bin it if I, for that to happen, but I don't know. I know I'm definitely not going to qualify pole unless Keith has an issue. But this track's freaking weird with qualifying. We'll, see, have to, we'll have to see what I can do here. I know it's going to be on the bottom. Just take it hard and easy at the same time, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. Might have been too little throttle. Might have needed to get back to full throttle a little bit sooner there. That was too much rotation center corner right there. That really bled off a ton of speed coming out of four. That really sucked. But it should be an okay time. Oh, we got a 21-0. And we're still in second with Keith getting a 20.9. <laughs> Great run to Keith. Couldn't get him this time. Definitely, I think, my closest, though, to... To qualifying past him, but I'll take a 21.0. This guy's getting 21.1s so far. Ronnie is the closest guy to me. But Keith's the only one in the 20s. Probably will be the only car in the 20s by the time we're done with this. But anyway, that's my qualifying program for today is the number two car. So you guys, once we're uh, taking the green flag, hopefully grid it up in the second spot. All right, we got the one to go for the flagger here. Williams Grove. We're getting the old speech from Chad Knaus. We got the uh, the good lucks <laughs> from everybody. We got uh, the old 69 EPI NLR ride, Longhorn chassis. I already said it, 69. Nice. <laughs> Car on my inside here, Keith Hackney. We're going to watch him take off. Hopefully we can defend second position here and uh, have a good clean race by ourselves. I imagine this might be a boring one. We got 25 laps of racing. Let's see how I can time this start here. Keith, you keep my eye on you, man. Here we go. He's going. We got one on my inside already who's quick and probably going to lose position, and he's dooring me. My God. And he's right-rearing me. Holy crap. I am on your inside or outside, my guy. Still on my inside. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Need to stay on the throttle a little harder. There we are. Lift a little bit. Getting our own groove here. We don't have Ronnie on my inside anymore. Hopefully we can keep our momentum going, though. That was not very momentous. It's more monumental. <laughs> Let's figure it out here. There we go. Felt a little bit better with the throttle. We gotta nail it here in one and two. There we are. Keep the car low. Don't just wood it. You gotta lift a little bit. You gotta lift a little bit. That's my understanding at least. <laughs> hey, we got a lapper up ahead already. It's Randall. It's Randy. Just a little bit and keep the car nice and low. Oh gosh, we're staying in the second spot. I'm feeling good. I feel like the car behind me is going to make some more mistakes. There's even a car behind him that's kind of hungry for that third position. But we're making all right time. Keith is gone though. It's no competition for Keith. Thank God that guy lifted for me. I think he did at least. I don't know how Keith's going to handle this lapper though. Maybe the lapper will let him by easily. Kind of looks like that's what's going to happen here. Be a nice easy negotiation. They're fighting hard for that third spot behind me though. Now it's our turn to catch up to Randall. Hopefully he can uh, give us the inside. Same respect he gave Keith here. Get him out of the way, Earl. 
Looks like we'll get just that. Thank you very much, Randall. Was rather close, though. Looks like car behind is going to door him. Very good, very good. I think I need to take that corner a little wider. He definitely caught me a little bit there. Get the car rotated. Uh-oh. Hold my own. Good exit. That felt all right. He's caught me, though. He's only three-tenths back now. Yeah, I think the bottom and one and two is quick, and then maybe just a little bit in the middle with the highish -er line and three and four here. Uh-oh. You heard him. That's twice. <laughs> oh, don't make him count to three. You don't want to see him count to three, boys. Come on. Uh-oh. Right in front of Keith. And this guy definitely is catching me. This guy's running pretty good. I have a feeling like he might be able to actually pass me. Which is going to make me very sad. Someone's taking uh, responsibility. All right, let me buy on the inside here, buddy old pal. That was very scary. And that really sucked for the car behind me. That really blew a lot of his momentum he had. And he's getting doored. Oh, that was very much too sideways. <laughs> Can't believe we still have over 10 laps to go. This place is huge. All right, we've pulled a fair distance away from Ronnie now. I think he's still going to be able to catch right back up to me, though. Kind of trying my best to copy what Keith is doing in front of me. But they don't really have their throttle control above their race car. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe that wouldn't be. Maybe that's like uh, how like Call of Duty has like see-through wall hacks. Maybe someone can create like an eye racing hack where you can see the guy's throttle control. Ten laps to go. I think we're slowing down quite a bit. Got to find some more speed. I think I'm letting the car behind me catch up. I'm not really able to keep it down there as well as Keith, man. I don't know how he's able to keep it down on the low line in one and two there. Maybe I'm just giving her too much throttle. But I don't I don't want to be experimenting right now. I mean, the guy behind me has a whole second back, but he can catch up quick. Yeah, that felt pretty good. That felt good. Okay, I got the throttle a little later. Taking notes now. Get to throttle a little bit later. Look at that. I am finding time with a car behind me now. Unless he's just messing up at the same time I'm thinking I'm doing good. I had to slow down for William here. It's going to burn off a little bit of time probably. All right. Hopefully, Keith can uh, make his way through some of this lap traffic stuff. This should be pretty interesting. Man, this is some massive lap traffic. We've got like two cars side by side in front of me. What am I supposed to do here? Oh boy, let me on the inside here, buddy old pal. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, my man. Thank you, thank you. They've definitely slowed down Keith a little bit, but nothing I'm going to be able to pounce at or anything like that. we already got five laps to go here. That was a little too early of a turn. Going to have to use some brake to not slide up into that car. This car's having a, a crazy day, old Chris. 
time. Try to get by on the inside here, please just lift. Please let's not go too wide into this corner. What are you doing, my man? It's okay though. All right, he's racing me on the outside line. Jesus Christ, buddy. Holy crap. I'm in second place, my man. Don't don't do anything scary here. <laughs> Is he going to try to go for a crossover on me? Try <laughs> to block the heck out of it. Holy moly. There we go. Feels good. Keith's gone, man. We're coming up the two to go. I learned something though. I learned some stuff. I learned how to drive this track a little bit better than kind of how I thought about attacking it with the throttle. So very, very much thanks to Keith. Very big thanks. Ronnie Joyner finishes far behind me. We're going to finish in the number two spot as the number two car. No, it's one, two, and three for the race today. Shebang, shebang. We're going to make some I rating. Very good job to Keith. Very beautiful win. Very schmexy, I might say. Look at that 69 car. Look at this thing. Ooh, look at that beautiful ride. Look at that ride. Oh, my. <laughs> Hopefully... That didn't make it matter. So I was getting rather close to one. I think I got a zero X on him there. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's go ahead and uh, go through and take a look and race, listen to these guys argue. There, dude. You just come and ask me. Good race. Yeah, he thought it was fun. I didn't mean to make contact going into three on like lap two or three. Oh, big, big freaking hit beneath us there. Let's see. There's the six car getting in the back of the double O. Oh, oh, monumentous. Didn't hold the brakes. He started rolling down the track. Oh, more flipping. Oh, my God. The 11 upside down. Here's the number seven car. I think we had a problem with this guy, possibly, trying to pass him. He feeds a right rear to somebody. He doesn't care. The number seven doesn't care, everybody. And here's his partner, the number eight car. He's going to ride him all the way up the track and give him a right rear right back, baby. Oh, my God. Here's a 49. What's going to happen here? Is there going to be a right rear fed? Oh, there sure is. What do you know? All by ourselves here. Yikes. Trying to find every inch he can on the racetrack. Found a little a little too much. Here's the 7 and the 8 car again. Here's 7's taking evasive maneuvers, but ends up in the wall. <laughs> Here's the number M. As in, in nailing the wall. The number 10 ride, colleague racing. Here, he's gonna catch the opening. It wasn't too shabby. Here's the number 49. Guy on the inside gets tight. It's the 8 car. He's going for a crossover and gets ran over by the seven and the seven only screws himself and that one someone's coming for a straight line I can you can hear that engine from like a mile away Wow there's the 13 ride gonna end up in the wall no uh, yeah in the wall but not in that opening like I was thinking here's the 11 slamming on the brakes on entry losing complete control by themselves here's the six and nine right yeah no that's the nine and nine no it's the six and nine car yes nice that's very beautiful the double O Landon Castle. Oh, he gets door to the opening. The M for Mother Effer. Oh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, he's going to clip the inside wall. This guy's not having a good day. Here's the seven car. <laughs> Couldn't react soon enough, I guess. Here's Hackney. This is some Hackney action We're dealing with the seven car. Look at this. Seven car just doesn't left. Right on. And they're bump drafting each other in front of freaking Keith here, so Jesus Christ. And then uh, seven car gets in the wall by himself. Ten car all by themselves, using up some throttle. There's me getting by. And then what, this guy just kills himself, straight lines into the wall, and is just done. Very interesting, very interesting. Some more Doran action. Jesus Lord! Come on, boys! Guys are freaking going way too hard for these positions. Almost get ran over there. That was the end of the race. All right, fun stuff. Let's go take a look at the results. One of the lowest ones of the year, or of the season, strength of field-wise, because it's Williams Grove. Everyone seems to hate that track for whatever reason. It was 1,890. Uh, we finally did it. Finally came home second to Keith Acme. I don't think I've done that yet this season, so hell yeah.
I, I won. I won, guys. <laughs> Very good job to Keith. Uh, he gains 10 I rating. That's it. But I gained 21, so I'll take that. We're back up above 4,500. How embarrassing. Oh, we went, we've lost so much. But, I mean, it's nothing really to be all too proud of. I mean, these guys are just barely anything. And that guy, Ronnie, really gave me a run for my money. And he was doing really good. So, fun race. Thanks for watching, everybody. Very good job to Keith. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, like I just said. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.